Alright, um, welcome ladies and gentlemen to the patch notes for 25th of September 2019. Um, today we'll be going through the patch notes for um, NA and EU and after that we'll quickly go through KR and we'll also go through all the events in the Pearl Shop as well. So let's get started. Um, so say so this week um, they'll be finishing up the life skill mastery updates where they will be releasing the Manus grade gear. So that's the highest grade life skill um, gear. And this gear is obviously very expensive, but also um, can provide a lot of rewards and benefits. We'll go through that later. And then apart from that, there's a lot of new events um, called Season of the Hunt. And we'll just go check out these events right now. So these events, um, say uh, for the trainer night support kit it's between September 25th to October the 23rd before the maintenance and this gives you uh, so a gearbox essentially right so it'll give you um, the trainer Knights gearbox I think this is soft cap gear if I'm correct not 100% sure but um, you get two kits for hitting level 56 and level 58 and you can enjoy 14 days of Trina Knight's first captain support. Um, this is available once per family and if you have multiple characters above 56 they'll only count once. So I think this is um, essentially if you want to take an old character out, level it up and test out how it is, how good it is in terms of grinding, um, I don't know, uh, maybe even like uh, PvP and stuff like that. like that, you can do this outside of just doing trial characters on in RBF and uh, Battle Arena. So there's that. Um, Alright, next one, Event 2, Complete Mining Stones, so this one is essentially filling up your money stones and handing them over to um, uh, to Wacky Toshi, um, the NPC, and essentially uh, the money stone one is worth one point, the money stone two is worth two points, the first one he killed 250 specific monsters, monsters. the money stone two you need to kill 500 of each. And essentially, um, the rewards here, you can see, uh, between 10 to 19, you get a uh, Vice of Valks, 25 to 35. Between 20 to 29, you get an Enhancement Help Kit, number two. Uh, between 30 to 39, you get a Fine Accessory Box. And more than 40, you get Rare Tongue Red Accessory Box. And uh, you need to hand these money stones to Wacky Toshi to get the points and after the uh, maintenance on October, October the 8th, the rewards will be sent out um, during the October 16th maintenance. So essentially this is saying that um, you need to get as many points or up to 40 points by October the 8th. And then the maintenance um, after that, you'll get your rewards in your mailbox, I believe. So, yeah. Alright, the third event is the special challenges. This one is just, so this is between September 26th to October 9th. And this is essentially a playtime reward thing where if you play for 30, log, um, play for 30 minutes or have your client open for 30 minutes, you get two high quality drought boxes. For uh, 60 minutes you get two um, combat XP scrolls and one item collection scrolls. Um, for 90 minutes you get two high quality food boxes. And for 120 minutes which is two, also two hours of playtime you get one uh, another item uh, collection scrolls. And also on the weekends um, you get additional item collection scroll item collection scrolls so that's on Saturday and Sunday all right the fourth event is the world boss uh, loot drop boost so 
um, when you go to world bosses like Garmoth, Svels, um, Zarka, Nuva, all that stuff, uh, you have a higher rate of getting the boss boxes or the boss items. So uh, it says the drop rate will double and I think this is a good time if you want to get these rare items to make sure you try to attend every single world boss of field um, one of these I don't think it's field boss no but world bosses and try to get these boxes um, so yeah that's that and the last event is a fever time boost where you get um, bonus combat XP and skill experience on weekdays and on weekends you get 300% combat experience and 30% skill experience and the drop rate increase for following hard, hard sharps and relics so I assume this is gathering and fishing yep and that's about it for those events okay it looks like these events are just um, I covered over before just to get more players active and playing the game there uh, the Fall Festival, what's this one? Thing important here. Uh, so this is for new or returning Black Desert Online players. Where for, for new adventurers, you reach level 15, get a dog. Level 40, get plus 2 inventory expansion times 4, so you get 8 inventory slots. Level 50, you get a transaction made. Uh, level 56, you get a sealed book of combat for 30 days. Okay, and then there's log, uh, login rewards as well. All venture rewards. So for game level 60, you get 60 advice of Alks. For level 61, you get another 60 advice of Alks. And this is the loyalty attendance rewards. Show you that. And that's about it for that. Alright, so, so, yep, that's about the events. Um, so, the end events, the Alter Blood event has ended. The bonus drop rate for the items is no longer there, but um, the difficulty will stay lowered. And it said <laughs> there was this issue where um, the Alter Blood was affected by a day and night time cycle, so at night time, the monsters are even much more scarier than they were during daytime and you can imagine wave 10 doing wave 10 at night time is extremely hard but yeah okay so um and they added additional combat rewards here i'll let you go through that yourself if you want to all right now we'll go through the big um update here which is the Mana Scrape Master Equipment and Items have been added. So this is all the Manos Tools, um, Manos uh, Clothes, and Manos Accessories. Now here um, you can see what it costs to enhance each of these items and the bonus mastery each of these gives. And essentially um, my opinions on Manos are that you know, if you enjoy life skilling and it's something you see yourself doing for a long time in the game, then sure, you can invest into Manos, but I think for the general players, um, Manos is both a very, very expensive item and I feel like if you just go with Lucky Gear and you're just a casual life skill, that will be more than enough. Um, as you can see, uh, a lot of these items Either, easily you're trying to get a um, try accessory try mana accessory can cost you billions of silver so you need to determine for yourself if it's, if it's worth the investment or not so that's up to you and so they added new repeatable quest where you can acquire mana's cooking uh, fundamentals cooking I believe this is an item you need to craft the mana's cooking clothes um, I believe Let's double check that and also um, there's another one here uh, Mana Stone was added to items available for purchase to the 
below jewelry vendors. Okay, so these are the processing stones, I believe, yeah. Okay. And a new repeat quest was added where you can acquire the Manus Fishing item tier of Great Ocean. Alright. Yep. Okay. So now we can go into Game World NPC if NPC and effects are anything big here. Uh, the button to exchange high quality wine with Constantine Constante, the Golden Toad Inn's manager, was moved under the dialogue button. Okay. Uh, fix the issue we're searching a material vendor with find the NPC function in certain areas of Helm's post and other locations gave you the wrong direction. Alright. Uh, some <coughs> very minor class changes. Um, I don't think there's anything quite noticeable here. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, nothing important there in class changes. Uh, item changes. You can now use a high quality carrot while polishing the alchemy stone life. Okay. Um, fix the acceleration speed. Uh, acceleration speed turn and break stats in item description of wagon regist registration. Forest path wagon to wa match the wagon's actual stats. Fix the issue where you could, couldn't could gain processing XP when processing the floor's magical blackstone. Okay. Uh, sailboat and frigate sailor contracts were combined into the new ethereal sailor contract. And then we'll check out, we'll check the pearl shop updates later. Alright, monster changes. Fix the issue where the HP of the following monsters at Basham's base were displayed while attacking them while not having the relevant knowledge. Okay. Uh, you can now obtain the upgrade comps parts which are the same as the ones you obtained from Elton at the certain rate by killing the following monsters at History Ruins. Boltons. Okay, so essentially you can get Elton parts from Boltons now. So that's uh, for all you history grinders out there. Important piece of knowledge. Okay. Um, fix the issue where you couldn't. So quest and knowledge. Um, I'll just quickly skim through these. I don't think there's anything major here. Okay. Interface changes. A new event banner was added to the bottom right of the game screen. The event banner only pops up once a day. Clicking this banner will open up the event page of the official website. Okay. Uh, added item grade sort of function to the central marketplace. This sort of function will be displayed on right side of the back button when entering the market after having selected equipment that can be enhanced. Okay, item grades sort of function has been added to the central marketplace. Um, fix the lag issue that occurred when using trade by talking to trade manager NPC. Alright, never really noticed that, but okay. Add a function where you, where you can set up to three auto paths in the world map. Now this is interesting. So, <laughs> instead of having to manually uh, route your auto paths, you can now just select a setting um, which will generate the order path for you I guess. Okay, interested, interested to see how this works. Um, fix the diff issue where the difficulty icon was not updated normally in Dark Rift list. Alright. Uh, fix the camera perspective. Resolve the issues. Fix the camera perspective to gradually exit the observed mode by pressing escape on a boat. Sky balloon or at viewpoint. Uh, Warrior fixed the issue where the wrong preceding skill levels are displayed in the skill description of Shield Assault, Absolute Charging Slash, and Absolute Shield Strike. Warrior fixed the issue where the effect of knocking back enemies was missing in the skill description of Forward Slash. Okay.
Uh, Lan fix the issue where Lan could use the following elixirs. What's this about? I'm not sure about that. Uh, no issues, we're aware of the issue where you cannot exchange expired if you're a forget sailor contract, add to inferior sailor contract. We recommend you exchange your inferior forget sailor contract before they expire. This issue will be resolved next week's maintenance. Okay, cool. Where's the... Um, are we getting the increased prices on Pearl Shop costumes? I'm just wondering. I didn't say see anything about it, but I've, I might have missed it. Missed it. Um, I'm not sure. We can let me know if I missed it, but I didn't see anything re relation to um, increased prices on Pearl Shop costumes. Okay, we can have another look later. All right, so now go to the Pearl Shop updates. It's a premium value pack for 30 days, and this is a value pack which gives you back 52 pearls a day uh, for 30 days. So that's um, 30 times 52. That's around 1500, I believe. Yeah, 15, 1560 pearls. So it's like a good chunk of that, the pearls you spent back. So. Yeah, I'll recommend getting this package if you have some pearls lying around. Uh, inventory slot expansion 2 plus 1 where um, you can get... Okay, so if you need inventory, this is the time to get inventory on your characters. Uh, event season of hunt pack, um, you can choose a dragon pet and also a premium outfit box for your character excluding Shy. Get a seven day karma blessing, seven day book of combat. Uh, wait, uh, and as a bonus, you get 10 item collection scrolls, 10 extra combat XP scrolls, uh, 10 extra skill XP scrolls, and 10% discount coupon. And this costs 4,200 pearls, um, and it's at a 26% discount. Alright, Lucky 15 pack. Now I got debated by this. So this is like them making the loot scroll bundle worse again yet. And let's go through the details. So for 2,570 pearls, you get a 15 day calm blessing, a 15 day sealed book of combat, 15 honors of memories, and 15 loot scrolls. And you can only purchase one of these per family. And this is the same with the seasonal hunt pack and the premium value pack. So, yep, continue. Yep, I don't expect them to bring the original loot scroll deal back at all. So that's that. All right. So the, let's go quickly go over the KR patch notes here for the 25th of September. Um, so they add a ability where you can now check the inventory of your characters in the character selection screen. I think this is a pretty useful mechanic and save you a little bit of time. It's a quality of life change. So there's that. Um, and they also added a new update where you get, I believe, two or th three additional pets for completing the main quest line. So that could help out new players with saving them a little, little bit of money. Not having to buy as many pets. And uh, here they have updates to the Great Ocean. Um, they changed the food supply cost for large ships here. Uh, they changed bartering. Um, special barter has been changed to appear more frequently than before. The number of ocean coins that can be obtained from special barter has been significantly increased. So that's before it's between. Is that minus 10 to 500? Now it's 900 to 1100? I'm not sure what that means. It says it's significantly increased, so I guess it's a significant buff. Um, you can exchange items worth at least 100 million silver coins. The value of the items that can be obtained from social barter has been significantly increased. Okay. So here's some changes with the Great Ocean Currents. Um, 
There's some interface changes here. Events. So, okay. So that's the same as the... Um, our bonus combat and skill experience event. And the um, playtime event there. And yes, they also get the double drop rate on boss um, boxes. Okay. And this is uh, for new players, I guess, or and returning players where you get a bunch of bonus items. You get polar bear for reaching level 15. Holy shit! Oh, these are some good rewards here. Okay, okay, are there? Right. Sure, if it's the same as in there. I don't think we get a polar bear, do we? Check a returning player event. I'm just checking if this is the same as ours. I don't think it is. Nah, it's not the same as ours. Okay. Alright, cool. Uh, the additional rewards. The Imperial Horse Daily period after September 25th. You train horses more than level 15 and supply Imperial Horses. You can get additional horse training material items. Okay, so they made an event for horse training here. Cool. And Alright. Yeah, I think. That's about it for the KR patch notes. Was they all reorganize some of the UI, use the interface, and they have the um, auto pathing, same as uh, NAEU. And yeah, I think that's about it, guys. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. 25th of September 2019 patch notes with Jackie Felix. I will see you guys next time. Um, have a great day. And yeah, peace out.